often there is a debate in the media that cesarean section deliveries are going up or which is better cesarean section or normal delivery let us see about cesarean delivery in today's video hi friends i am dr karamat this is scientific doctor channel in this channel every week a health related topic is explained via a simple video if you want to see such videos subscribe to this channel also press the bell icon adjacent to it to get instant notifications whenever new videos are released this week's video is about cesarean section delivery what is cesarean section or c section it is a surgical procedure whereby baby is delivered via incision made in the abdominal wall of the mother and also in the uterus of the mother so instead of normally delivering through the vagina the birth tract of the mother the baby is delivered via an artificial incision made in the lower part of the abdominal wall and in the lower part of the uterus so why do doctors do cesarean section it can be for the baby or for the mother cesarean sections can either be scheduled or planned or elective or they can be emergency what are the causes of you now what are the indications for doing cesarean section for the baby if the baby is in fetal distress during the time of delivery suddenly there is some disruption to the blood flow to the baby or to the oxygenation to the baby so the baby shows increased heart rate decrease in breathing shows signs of distress so this is one of the commonest indications for doing cesarean section also the umbilical cord may get entangled may get prolapsed again compromising on the baby's oxygenation this also can be an indication for doing cesarean section the labor itself might get halted or there might be very slow progress a very long labor process is not good for the baby your baby even though it might survive it might not survive neurologically your baby might be at risk of poor neurological development so sometimes if the progress of the labor is delayed doctors might resort to cesarean section sometimes there might be a cephalo pelvic disproportion meaning the pelvis the pelvic bones of the mother might be small or the head of the baby is relatively large so that there is difficulty in passing through the birth canal again this might be an indication to do a cesarean section for the mother herself there might be reasons there might be medical conditions like heart disease in the mother which you cannot allow the mother to undergo the rigors of a normal vaginal delivery which might endanger you might be forced to do a cesarean section in such mothers there might be conditions of the placenta which can block the birth canal or which might have you no know, ruptured abruptly before the expected time of delivery at such times again you may have to be forced to do a cesarean section so these are the common indications for a c section or a cesarean section delivery and one of the more common causes today is a previous cesarean section so if your first baby was born by cesarean section the next baby is most likely be born by cesarean section not is not absolutely true we have to see for what indication was the first baby did a cesarean section if it was a recurring indication if the mother's pelvic bone is very small if she has a congenital problem if she has a some anatomical defect yes again the second baby might also have to be done a cesarean section but if it was a fetal cause and this baby is fine the second delivery can be attempted normally also but there is a very small inherent risk of the rupture of uterus so you will be tracked very closely at any point in time if there is any indication your planned normal vaginal delivery might be turned to an emergency cesarean section and could result in that 
So this procedure called VBAC, vaginal birth after cesarean is possible but not always possible. So sometimes you might have to resort to a cesarean section. Okay, what are the problems with cesarean section? Cesarean section is usually done with anesthesia, either a local or a regional called spinal or epidural anesthesia or a general anesthesia. There might be problems because of the anesthesia or because of the surgery. Because it is a surgery, the morbidity, the time for recovery, the infection rates, the bleeding, these can be slightly more than your normal vaginal delivery. Since your recovery is prolonged, your coming back to work, coming back to normalcy might get delayed. But ultimately, how to decide between a C-section and a normal delivery? Essentially, it is not a choice where you decide. It is a choice made for the betterment or the better health of both the mother and the baby. So whatever is good for both the mother and the baby is decided as the method of delivery. So rather than fretting about a cesarean section or a normal delivery, think about the health of the baby and the mother and whatever is best will be chosen by your doctor as the delivery method. What are the things we have to see after cesarean section in the mother? Yes, as I said already, the recovery time may be slightly longer, but anyway, the mother has to be ambulant, start walking probably from the second day itself because to avoid complications, that is advised. Avoiding lifting of heavy weights is recommended. So you can probably go back to your work or normal lifestyle by six to eight weeks of life. In normal delivery, this might be a little earlier. Normal delivery is not also without no any injuries. Your perineum might get damaged. You might have to be no undergoing sutures. So still normal delivery can also result in pain. But the pain in cesarean section might be little longer. And what are the you know, danger signs you have to observe post cesarean section? If you have pain, extreme pain in the incision site, if you have redness, warmth, swelling, pus discharge, bleeding from the incision sites, if you have fever, if you have swelling or pain in the legs and you are not ambulant following a cesarean section, this can denote a complication. So in case of any of these complications, you have to report to the doctor immediately. So ultimately, cesarean section rates have gone up in recent times. This is to prevent mortality and morbidity that is deaths and complications both in the mother and in the babies. So even though it is a common notion that cesarean section rates have gone up, we have to also think about both the deaths during delivery for the mother as well as complications in the babies have gone down. So cesarean section Delivery is a decision made keeping the best interest of the baby and the mother in mind. Friends, this was a small explanation about C-section delivery. If you like this video, share it among your friends and relatives. If you want to see such videos, subscribe to this channel. Till we meet again. Bye.